And, you know, sadly, the pandemic has highlighted mental health concerns, and it's not just adults. According to the CDC, one in six kids ages two to eight years old are diagnosed with anxiety or depression. So where do you get the help your child needs? A new kids therapy app founded by a child psychiatrist and her daughter might be able to help. And they join us this morning to tell us more about this. Good morning to you, Dr. Egger and Rebecca. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having us. Dr. Egger, let's start with you. Tell us a little bit about Little Otter. Yeah, so I am a child psychiatrist. I'm a research scientist in the area of early childhood mental health, and I'm the mother of four kids. And Little Otter um, emerges from exactly what you said, that there's a huge number of kids, about 20% of kids who have an impairing mental health disorder, but only about 20% of those kids get any kind of help. And uh, Rebecca, my daughter, and I co-founded Little Otter because we know that we aren't going to solve this just by training more people. Just to put this in context, in the United States, 70% of the counties do not have one child psychiatrist. So that's why we have brought together digital technology, teletherapy and all the things that we can bring to bring therapy into people's homes so families can get the help when and where they need it. I could certainly tell very early on during the pandemic, my kids were down, they were acting differently, yeah. they were isolated, mm -hmm. uh, they were going through a lot. We tried to talk it out as much as we can. They wrote down their yeah. feelings. But you know, I mean, sometimes there's more to it than that. I mean, That's um, right. you know, there's, it's a deeper issue. So, um, That's right. you know, doctor, how can we tell if there's something deeper going on there? Yeah, so, you know, what we say it in Little Otter is, when should you worry? When are these typical challenges that kids are facing? And when is there something going on that's clinically significant? And at Little Otter, we have proprietary assessments that emerge from my research, as well as quarterly mental health checkups, so that we can, one, figure out whether there's a clinically significant problem, which we have the full, uh, uh, people to be able to help with that. We have parenting specialists to help with daily challenges. We have therapists to deal with clinical issues, with child psychiatrists if needed. Um, and so with that, with a proper assessment, you can figure out what a kid needs, what a family needs, and then be able to track and see if things are getting better. Rebecca, let's bring you into the conversation here. You know, um, what is your involvement in this? How, how did you feel that you could really add to this little Otter app? And, um, you know, tell us what people can get out of it. Yeah, so I'm the um, CEO, and I've seen Dr. Egger, my mom's work, obviously, for many, many years. And what I always say is the origin of little Otter is that you cannot go anywhere. The minute that they find out that Helen is a child psychiatrist, someone asks, should I worry about my kid's behavior? Is this normal? Where do I go? And so it's just been clear that something like Little Otter was needed, that we needed to provide parents a resource where they could answer these questions. When should I worry that we really focus on the whole family, not just one individual child, but really figure out, you know, does is this a typical challenge that just needs some extra support? Or when do you know that you need actual therapy or potentially medication? Tell us a little bit about, um, Rebecca, the, the matching process. You know, w w are there certain questions they ask to pair someone up with yeah. a therapist? How does that all work? Yeah, so we have a proprietary, as Alan said, a proprietary assessment uh, that helps us identify if there is a clinical versus non-clinical issue. But every single family gets matched with a care lead that they have access to through text at any point. And that care lead is the partner for the family throughout their entire journey. Yeah. So they figure out exactly which of our therapists, because we employ all our therapists and Helen trains all of them yeah. um, and supervises them, which one would be the best match for the family. Incredible. Dr. Yeah. Egger, tell us a little about where people can learn more and how they can uh, take part in this app and how they can benefit from it. 
Absolutely. So um, you can go to our website, which is www.littleotterhealth.com. And uh, you can also download our app, our Little Otter app in the App Store and sign up um, and then take uh, these free assessments. And so we can help you figure out what's going on with your child and then join Little Otter, as we said, as a family, as many kids as you want to join, we'll do those assessments and then meet with our care lead to figure out how we can best support your family's mental health and your wellness really every day across a whole year um, and really be there for you um, through these hard times yeah. and through the time that we have ahead of yeah. emerging it's from this help. difficult pandemic. It's help out a lot of people. Dr. Egger and Rebecca, thanks so much for your time. We'll be right back. Thank you. Thank you.